Well, imagine starting your life over with just a $10 bill, your laptop, and some clothes. Well, that's just what one Seattle man did at the beginning of this year. And through social networking and using his business know-how, he's made it from the West Coast <laughs> to right here in Metro Detroit this morning. And joining us now is Greg Hartle to walk us through his economic experiment. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. This is great. So tell us how this experiment works. So the idea is if you woke up tomorrow and you had to start everything over and you had nothing to begin with, basically, what would you do? And that's essentially what I'm doing is recreating my life, starting with just $10, my laptop and some clothes. What would I do? Uh, how would I recreate my life through entrepreneurship? So how did this come about? Why did you get this idea in the first place? Well, I've had, I've had a lot of experience as a business owner over the last 12 years, and I've had my ups and downs, and I went through a, a life-threatening illness along the way, and I had to rebuild my life. And recently, we've gone through an economic downturn across the country, and I've had a lot of people come to me and ask me how I rebuilt my life. Rather than tell them how I did it, I figured I would show them how I would do it right now, and that's how this whole idea came about. And you're making a stop to every state? All 50 states. And yeah. what are you doing in each one? So my idea is to go to all 50 states and interview 501 entrepreneurs who are also building up their life through entrepreneurship and share those stories online so that people have as many examples of possibility as they can find in today's economy on how to make their life work. So how do you do it day in and day out? I mean, even how did you get to the station this morning, for example? Uh, well, it, it's a series of serendipitous type moments, but um, I met a guy in uh, Ann Arbor who lives here. He gave me a ride from there to here, basically, and he just so happens to have a vehicle. He let me borrow his vehicle to get here to the really? studio today. Mm -hmm. So I've used, uh, you know, ride chairs, buses, trains. I've walked an incredible amount of distance and, uh, and have even borrowed some cars. And so I imagine just social media has helped you through this, but also in terms of the money. I mean, you know, you started with $10, but how are you feeding yourself? How are you getting gas for the car? All great questions, all great questions. So uh, it's, been a, it's been a series of random uh, opportunities that have presented themselves and, and, and just a little bit of know-how along the way. But social media has definitely played a huge part in this because the ability to connect now online is tremendous. Um, and the ability to, to tell a story quickly is tremendous through social media. But I've done a lot of odd jobs. I mean, I've done things like, uh, I've even babysat a four-year-old, which is very <laughs> really? surprising, yeah, in Chicago. And, uh, and, and I've done all kinds of other odd jobs to earn enough money to kind of keep me going along the way. And where are you headed to next? Which direction are you going in? Uh, from here, I'm taking a $1 mega bus ride to uh, Pittsburgh. So I've heard you know. about the mega bus. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I've heard about it too. This will be my first experience with it. And just real quick, the message you want to leave with people is what? The message I want to leave is it's rarely about resources and mostly about your personal resourcefulness. Mm -hmm. And there are a tremendous amount of people out there that are incredibly generous that will help you along the way. All you have to do is just find what you're passionate about and go for it. And people can follow your journey on your website. Tell us what it is. $10 and a laptop. All right, we'll be checking it out. Good Thank luck you. To you. Good luck. Thanks, Thanks for coming for in this here. morning. We appreciate it. Thank you.